Blasty blistering blazes! What the heck took you so long? We've been waiting for ages. But you only just... What matters now is that we find the gem that opens the temple doors. You two take care of that. I'll go ahead to the temple and inspect the gate. Any questions? No? Then beat it. Um, it helps to know what something looks like if you're supposed to find it. At least that's what I've been told. I already told you that. A small red gem. If it's around here somewhere, and I'm quite certain it is, you should maybe search for it at the village treasury. Now get going. I'll see you at the temple. And lo and behold, from one crazy mission into the other. The living temple. Whew. I never thought I'd get to see it up close. I suggest you take a look at the town hall. I'll browse the rest of the village. Just call me if you find something. That was quick. Any luck? Let me see. Yeah, that's it. Well, then I guess that means off to the temple. You ready? Wonderful. Ah, uh, and here. I found this in one of the houses. I thought it might be useful. Go ahead, then. I'll follow your lead.
And that's it. The Crystal Forest. Beautiful, isn't it? The temple should just be a few miles up the hill. Oh, it's an old legend. Apparently this temple has some kind of consciousness, so to speak. That's also the reason for the weird vegetation around here. Yep. And that's it. The Crystal Forest. Beautiful, isn't it? The temple should just be a few miles up the hill. And that's it. The Crystal Forest. Beautiful, isn't it? The temple should just be a few miles up the hill. Oh, it's an old legend. Apparently this temple has some kind of consciousness, so to speak. That's also the reason for the weird vegetation around here. Yep. Never walked back on the road from the age of man. Well, well, that was quicker than expected. Did you find the gem? Show me. Hmm. Well, I'll be damned, that's the one. Then I suppose it's time for me to tell you some things about the temple. Maybe you've already heard the Andrelean legend about this place. It's said that this temple is alive, and that the entire forest is some kind of sensory organ of it. Heareth his whispers, sung from the trees, dreadeth his gaze, blah blah blah, you get the idea. Though most folk legends are superstitious nonsense, this one has a true core. The temple does indeed have a consciousness of some sort. That has, however, less to do with some suicidal lover's tragic fates, but with a Pyrian defense mechanism. The Stone Heart.
It works because the Pyreans found a way to conjoin something immaterial with a human soul. That doesn't need to be a building like it is here. It can also be a, a sword or an amulet. The Bound Ones, as those whose consciousness was transferred were called, suffered atrocious pain during the ritual, but when it worked, they practically achieved immortality. Well, that's consoling. It's a terrible fate, yes, but we all know that with the right religious blathering, humans can be convinced to do just about anything. However, don't get the wrong idea. These bindings were unusual. Not every Pyrean had a relative living in his frying pan, so to speak. Only a very few Arcanists, mainly those of the Ischian caste, were able to perform them. In other words, bound places or objects were extremely rare. This temple is one of them. I doubt that it's resting, witnessing the downfall of one's own civilization, and since then being forced to hang around in an extinct world hardly has a positive effect on one's sanity. But we'll see. Go ahead, put the gem in the socket over there. Go and keep your weapons ready. The under train will be the lowest level of the temple, at least if Lushishi's theories are true. One question, my surprise partner. Why me? Why what? This is the third time that you've hired me. My pay isn't exactly humble. Why? <sighs> what do you want to hear? A love song? You're a drunkard and a scrounger. Uh, but you do your work, and you do it good. The day I put my faith in one of these God's lambs will be the day I dance naked through the upper city, singing hymns of praise to the Lightborn. I'd like to see that. I'm sure you would. Now shut your mouth. Our entrance was everything but subtle, but we at least don't have to shout at this temple in the face, where it has to trigger the next trap. Junction. 
Seems that we have to... Ah, ah, wait a moment. There's something written here. Chujara Nem Kyoresa Nem Gan Tila Bayara. Hmm. Interesting. Yes? I'm translating. Lashery could do a better job with that. Age takes its toll, I suppose, but... I, I think that means something like... The warrior, the wise man, and the dark one together wield the light. Ah, and look at the inscription above the doorways. Chuijara, Hyoresa, Gandila. The warrior, the wise man, and the dark one. Sounds to me that there's something we need at the end of each of these tunnels to go further. To the light, whatever that is. Brilliant deduction. That means we have to split up. Do you see the pressure plates in front of the doors? To me, it looks as if each of us has to stand on one to open the gates. I should take the path of the wise man. What about you, Joseph? Uh, the warrior? Good. That leaves you the path of the dark one. Off we go, then. We'll meet again at the light. Come on. Step on the pressure plates. Uh -huh. My door's open. Constantine? Mine too. Then let's go.
There you are. I was starting to get worried. Where is Bushybeard, though? Have you seen him somewhere? A scream. But... Wait. Do you hear that? That's his voice. He got here before we did, but he didn't wait. Why the heck would he do that? Not really, no. Come on, let's take a look. Shijara Nem Lohem Sharatha. She showed me. She showed me. She showed me all. She. She. The, the temple. She let me look through the window of time. And I saw it. All of it. The high ones, the light, the. the burnt flesh everywhere. Yes, and, the, and they're with us here and now, everywhere and always. Uh, and no matter what we do, we, we can't hide. Uh, do you understand? We can't. My sir, you're, you're. you're not yourself. Just calm down and we can. No! Stay away from me! You, you don't understand. You, you can't understand. She's so sad. So sad and so full of wrath because we chose to close our eyes rather than see. Because we refuse. To understand. Understand what? You're not making any sense. That it's us. We are sin. Don't you see? And there's only one way to end it. What? No, no! Put that away! This is madness! Madness! What we do is madness! <laughs> This is the only way to break the cycle. One glance was enough to understand her suffering. To understand that there's no other solution than ultimate death. One day, you will understand that. You too, fleshless one. And now, we have to die. It won't change much. But maybe, it will make her... Just a little happier. Forgive me. Heck. Why by the wise hermit would he do that? His eyes. I've never seen anything like that. You mean he was possessed? I... I don't know. I always thought the possessed have a red shimmer in their eyes when it gets bad. He didn't. And what was that talk about making her happy? Did he mean the temple? Uh, my. This doesn't get better. We'll need to tell the Order about it. Now, let's push on. At least we should find this train. We owe Firespark that much. Yeah, you're right. Come on, let's find a shovel. Or something like that.
now. Such chaos. 